hello dear students welcome back to my channel again hope you are all doing well hope you are practicing hope you have started your preparation okay as examinations are near now so this is the subject introduction to electrical engineering so far we have discussed the varieties of passing package like mathematics subject and physics and chemistry today uh, i will discuss the important questions and the passing hacks of uh, electrical engineering introduction to electrical engineering subject code is BESCK 104B 204B you are currently in second semester so definitely it is 204B if somebody is writing the backlogs uh, they can also refer this important uh, passing package over here so let me discuss here first passing module which is the module 1 it is a passing module means you have to go through uh, the theoretical concepts whatever I will mention here and uh, numericals are also simpler ones you should go through okay so first of all super important question state and expand Kirchhoff's laws applicable to DC circuits and what is Ohm's law what are its limitations okay next is what are conventional and non-conventional energy sources resources explain a typical electric power system with the help of a single line level diagram okay as you already know this is like physics subject means uh, in each and every module there are numerical parts intermixing of numericals are there so you cannot leave the numerical part okay next question is draw and draw and explain the working of hydro power plant with the help of block diagram explain the working of a solar power generation last question theory question from the first module is what are the different methods of electric power generation explain the need sketch block diagram nuclear power generation method these are the six i have taken six six questions from each module you can only go for the five questions from each module over there okay as I said, numericals are very simpler ones where you have to calculate the current. It is totally PU based uh, electric uh, current over there. Okay, where you have to, you are supposed to calculate the current and resistance or voltage sometimes. So go through uh, the numericals also so that you can easily uh, secure uh, 20 marks from the module first over here. Next passing module is module fifth. A uh, lot of theories over there. So, uh, first question is here what is earthing? with need diagram explain uh, any one type of earthing and uh, what is uh, electric shock list the preventive measures against the electric shock over there okay next is uh, explain working principle of fuse and miniature circuit breaker that is mcb and explain uh, two-way and three-way control lamp with the need diagram it is a super important question last define unit and tariff explain the two-part uh, tariff uh, with its merits and demerits and go through the numerical parts which are very simpler ones okay these are the theory questions that are i discussed these are the super important questions okay go through only these five questions next passing module is module four in which you have to cover explain the working principle of a single phase transformer and its, ne and its necessity in power system Next is derive uh, EMF equation of a single phase transformer with usual notation. Okay. Next is uh, explain how rotating magnetic field is producing in the three phase induction motor. Explain different losses that occur in a transformer. Uh, differentiate between slip ring and squirrel cage rotors. Write down their significance and simple numericals are there and uh, you should at least try some numericals over there. Okay. These are the five questions which you have to take from the module fourth. Let's come to the model second in which you have to cover some one line definitions or two line definitions like average value, RMS value, form factor and sorry form factor and peak factor, real power, reactive power, apparent power and the power factor amplitude and time period. These are the 10 simple definitions which you should remember. Uh, any definitions they will ask you in the examination. Establish a relationship between voltage and current in AC circuit containing pure inductance only draw the phasor diagram obtain a relationship between the line and uh, phase voltages in a star connected system explain the generation of three phase AC what are the advantages of three phase or single phase system here we have another possibility a pure inductor uh, excited by sinusoidal varying AC voltage show that the average power consumed by inductor is zero and obtain an expression for RMS value in terms of maximum value of an alternating quantity uh, there is the vast syllabus for the model second uh, you can also refer uh, syllabus copy so i have taken uh, six questions from the model second which you have to go through otherwise there are a lot of possibilities of questions which may come in the examination just go through only this much part you can easily score at least uh, 12 to 14 marks for uh, by this much content and also if you are content with the numerical part go through the numericals okay next is uh, model third I have taken five questions also here with usual notation obtain torque equation of a DC motor 
and with the help of a neat diagram explain the construction of dc generator derive emf equation of the dc generator also explain the characteristics of dc shunt motor explain the speed control of dc shunt motor with neat diagram what is back emf write its significance and write down the classification of dc generator and if you find some easiness in the numerical part as i earlier told you it is the intermixing of numericals okay by theory on uh, itself we can pass but sometimes uh, btu is setting the papers uh, quite differently they are asking sometimes two two numericals from the modules okay so that becomes the uh, 14 or 12 marks of numericals so uh, you should not take the risk that is why i am telling you, you should go through numericals also okay i can say it is the 60 40 60 theory and 40 numerical so it is up to you now uh, how much you will practice for the numericals that will be better for you people and you will be on the safer side so i wish you all the best for your examinations thanks dear Thank you.